spring. But first tonight, a father is upset after a former family friend took a plea deal in a sex abuse case in Olmsted County. Good evening and thank you for choosing ABC6. I'm James Wilcox. And I'm Laura Lieb. The terms of the plea deal mean the accused won't serve any prison time. ABC6 News reporter Megan Stewart sits down with one of the victim's fathers who thinks the deal doesn't do his family justice. I feel that the voice of the victims was deafened today and I will not go quietly into the night. Jamie Hosh is upset the man who admitted to making out with his 14-year-old daughter and was charged with raping his own ex-wife and girl under the age of 13 will not serve prison time. A month after my daughter filed this police report last year, my daughter attempted suicide. My daughter almost died. Uh -huh. It was the hardest four days of my life, and I was angry. According to the criminal complaint, Mark Ott was staying with the Hush family in 2011 while going through a divorce. Last year, Hush's daughter told investigators Ott and her kissed, and he touched her under her clothes. After Hush's daughter came forward, a girl who was under 13 told investigators Ott had also been sexually abusing her in 2011. Around that time, Ott participated in a program with Family Service Rochester called the Father Project. He seen here speaking with ABC 6 News. And we support each other. Rochester police investigated the claims brought forward against Ott. In this instance, charges were filed. Um, often, uh, our, our job or our role in the criminal justice system ends at that point. On Tuesday, Ott entered an Alford plea, meaning he maintains his innocence but believes there is enough evidence against him for a conviction. Officials with the Olmsted County Attorney's Office say that's as good as a guilty plea and enough to get a sentencing. But for Hush, he feels the justice system failed his family, knowing his former friend won't serve prison time. But I can tell you adamantly this is not justice for my daughter. This is not what my family wants and deserves. According to the Olmsted County Attorney's Office, Mark Ott will be sentenced in January, and that's when we will learn his jail time. Now, we do know he will be required to register as a sex offender for 10 years and serve probation for up to 25 years. Now, officials say per the terms of the plea deal, the charges involving the ex-wife were dropped. Reporting in the newsroom, Megan Stewart, ABC 6 News.